channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution I never got a chance to thank you guys for 4,000 subscribers <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my most embarrassing experience with regards to periods. I'm also going to be doing this while I do a face mask because I'm going to be honest, it's like Thanksgiving time right now. Everybody's going to be with their families. I don't have anybody to be with and you know, it's kind of a sad, lonely experience. It's also a very expensive experience. So my heart is kind of troubled. So I decided that I'm going to do a face mask just to do some some self-care so while I do this video I'm gonna be doing a face mask I just wanted to record the intro and show you guys my face before I do anything so I don't want to come too close that's a bit weird you know what I mean but um this is my face <laughs> I'm gonna go rinse it now and then put on the face mask and you guys will let me know if you actually see it so I've just rinsed my face and I'm about to put the face mask on and this is what I'm gonna put on it doesn't thing work where they put their hand over oh it does <laughs> it's actually for men and I hadn't realized but I've already paid for it so I'm still going to try it so my most embarrassing experience with regards to periods went a little something like this the time grade 10 meaning I was about 16 years old the place somewhere between school and a man's car. The story went like this. So what happened was I was 16 years old and my period randomly started when I was at school and I had no idea it was supposed to come because that was not the date it was supposed to come. And so I did not have pads with me. You guys are probably looking at me like, dude, like you're supposed to be more delicate or whatever, like, ugh, I don't know guys. You know, they say you can take her out the village but you can't take the village out of her. But anyway, so I tried to get a pad and the only pad I could get was this super light pad for people who have light periods, I guess, of which, by the way, I don't have super light periods. I have like the heaviest periods known to man. So I had already had a panty liner on my shoe. It fell off my shoe. Guys, you know what, Ned? Let me finish putting this thing on and then I'm going to come back and do the story because... I just can't, I can't do this. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to tell this story in 10 minutes because that's how long the time it is. So, as I had already explained, my period had randomly started and I had a panty liner on for the day, but I have a very, very heavy flow, so I had already bled throughout the whole like panty liner thing. Once I got my pad, my whole entire mood changed. Partially because I was annoyed that suddenly my period came at the wrong time. Also annoyed because I didn't have the resources that I need. And this also stresses the importance of having schools and organizations that have pads like in bathrooms and stuff and I say free because not everybody can afford pads or not everybody has the money they need at that particular time but that's a totally different conversation anyway so my mood changed because of my sudden period but also because my period pains had started kicking in I was in a lot of pain and I am a heavy bleeder so I have a lot of blood coming out of me I feel very uncomfortable because again I had already bled a little I struggled to find a pad and the pad that I have is super light so I'm worried that it won't be enough to carry me through the whole day but at that time it was already off the break which means I only had about four periods or something like that after school so cool I get through the entire day I'm not talking to anyone I'm mad I'm annoyed I'm in pain I'm uncomfortable I want to go home it's the worst feeling I want to cry but you know real niggas don't cry so I was not about to cry especially at school because when you cry at school everybody makes a fuss and people get close to you I didn't want anyone to get close to me because I was feeling really insecure I did like what if I smell or like you know things just weren't right with me anyway so after school came it was time for me to go home so the people who would fetch me off to school would vary day by day depending on who my mom had available so on this particular day this man came to fetch me me and this man we were cool we always had cool conversations about different stuff and usually when he picks me up it was always a vibe we're always gonna chop it up talk about different things always had the best conversations but on this particular day I got into the car I sat down I looked at him he looked at me we looked at each other and he said hi and I said hi and then he was like what's good like is everything cool I was like 
yeah, whatever. And then he was like, okay. Now mind you, the drive from my school to my home was literally about 10 minutes long. I had had a successful day. I didn't bleed on my skirt. I didn't, like I was clean on the outside. Everything was good. So I was like, okay, I've made it through the day. I just need to get home. When we get home, I step out to leave the car. And when I look back, what do I see? Hey! blood on the stupid seat oh god please no no i had bled on his car seat and so at that point i look down at the seat i see the blood i look up and he's looking at me and i'm looking at him and we're looking at each other in total silence it's literally like in that moment i was filled with so much embarrassment because you know i'm a young lady and obviously i don't want a man all up in my business knowing when i'm on my period and not only that but him seeing my blood on his chair you know what i mean so you can imagine i was just super 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 embarrassed in that moment but of course being the real one that i am i was not gonna let him catch me slipping ain't nobody got time for that so i looked at him and i was like listen i'll be right back and i said that with the most strong with, with the strongest hardest voice i could get from myself when in my mind i was like <laughs> So I go inside and I get some cleaning materials and then I clean off the seat and everything goes off. And then he was like, okay, bye. I'll see you tomorrow. And I was like, bye. The next day. The real embarrassment came when I had to see him the next day. And I wanted to apologize for what happened. And this interaction went something like, I was like, so, you know, like that thing, man. And he was like, uh, oh, uh, down. And I was like, Hell, oh. Then that that was the conversation we had and that was that. So that was the most embarrassing experience I've ever had with regards to periods. And apart from that one, I think I had one other encounter. I remember when I was a kid and I was on my period, like I was like in grade about seven or so, so like 13, I got my period and I didn't have any pads and my mom was gone for the weekend and she didn't have any pads at home i didn't have any money and i needed pads so i called my mom i was, I was like ma i need pads i'm on my period she was like i don't have any ask your dad and i was like listen i would rather drink ocean water bruh i would rather cook rice one by one and i oh and I was like, don't you have any money somewhere? Come on, like, just, if I find money, I can walk to go buy pads. There was literally no, when I say no money in the house, there was no money in the house. That time, my whole entire dad was upstairs, and I was like, let me tell you what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna ask him. And it was only Friday, meaning my mom was only gonna be back on Sunday. So I told her, I'm just gonna use tissue, and when you come back on Sunday, you're gonna give me the pads that I need. Essentially, if God don't do it, it just won't get done. It's gonna take a miracle from God. If God don't do it, it won't get done. So obviously she spoke to my dad and he gave me pads. And it was the most awkward interaction I think I've ever had in my life because he walked into the room and he was like, you need these? And I was like, yeah. And I took them and he walked away. And we never spoke about it again. And again, I had never spoken to my dad about periods ever before. I had assumed my mom told him because that's what moms do. But we had never spoken about it. So to be in a situation where you have to accept pads from someone who is not supposed to know about your period, it was so awkward. You're in my business? Yeah, don't do that. It honestly scarred me. By the way, ever since that thing happened, up to now, I always make sure I've got packets of pads. Like, I never run out of pads. Ever since that day, I always make sure that I buy pads in bulk so it can never happen again. Even now, as a grown woman, like, I'm still... It was... Once was enough. So I just washed my face. It was actually a peel off mask and then I had to rinse my face. But this is what I look like now. I don't know if you guys actually see a difference. My skin doesn't feel smoother. Um, it doesn't feel open. I remember the one face mask that I did, my skin literally just felt so like, whoa. Honestly, just feels regular. 
don't know if you guys see a glow comment down below if you do but i do want to end off this video with a little message and that is i personally feel that as a community as a society we need to better train men in terms of how to deal with periods because i think it's ridiculous that in 2020 we still have men who open their mouth and i've had someone say this to me as well and say is it because you're on your period or just because you're on your period it doesn't mean this this and that basically using the period to shame women to invalidate a woman's feelings i think we need to better teach men when it comes to that so that they don't say harmful things like that because there are some women who are still bound by those words you know i know of women who have been shamed by men who have been called dirty disgusting and uh, men saying women don't take care of themselves because they had a uh, because they had a blood stain on their pants and honestly a blood stain guys it doesn't happen all the time but it does happen and let me tell you when it does happen no woman in the world wants it to happen we avoid wearing certain color pants uh so we change our pads literally every hour every 30 minutes like it all depends on the person but we do our best to make sure that it doesn't happen but honestly it's a part of life and it does happen and as a man you need to know how to react to that i think we need to open up a space where men are free to talk about periods where they can learn about periods so that they're able to have healthy encounters with women we need to teach men how to treat their partners when their partners are on their periods some of you guys your woman will be on her period she'll be crunchy can't stand she's in pain and you will still go to her and expect her to cook you dinner for the night really nigga in order for men to know better and do better it's not just up to us as women to teach them but men you also have the responsibility to ask questions and don't ask them like you're stupid please please ask them in a way that is not going to offend and don't ask to mock but genuinely ask to know i think it's embarrassing that as a grown ass man you don't know how periods go you don't know the length of a period do you even know what a period blood clot is I think it's embarrassing for you not to know that as a grown man. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Ask questions, read books, watch videos, open the conversation. But also because as men, you need to be able to support your daughters in that time. You need to be able to speak to them about it because one day they're gonna need a pad from you or one day they're gonna need something from you. This conversation is normally led by mothers, but I feel that men need to be able to, even if it's not lead the conversation, but also be a part of the conversation. Now, whether your daughter wants it or not, that's up to her. You as a man need to make a conscious effort to make a safe space for your daughter that is your child and you need to create a safe space so that your daughter knows that she can speak to you but also you can't be ignorant when she does come to speak to you you can't have like this sick disgusted look on your face or be shocked or surprised not know any of the words you need to be educated because you need to be able to teach her you buying her snacks or whatever when she's on her period teaches her that when you're on your period that a man must take care of you so that when she does go look for a partner in future she's able to say look man when i was on my period my dad always got me snacks and that's what a man is supposed to do and uphold those standards so you have to create a safe space and for you to do that you have to be intentional and you have to be educated and lastly as men check yourself that you're not being disrespectful to women because she's on her period and also check your homeboys check your sons check your brothers you as men need to hold each other accountable you as men need to educate each other it's not just up to us women to teach men about women but men need to teach each other about women as well i always say that you may not be able to change the world but you are able to change your world so by holding yourself accountable and doing the right thing and holding your friends accountable you influence the people around you and they may go influence someone else and suddenly you don't even realize but you've changed a whole community that is how change happens in the world and it starts with you that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos any video suggestions comment down below and i'll try and make it happen for you peace and love guys